Uh, man, what's good, man? I cannot believe I'm finna sit here and make this video right now. It's been a long time coming, man. I believe it's time to finally confess, man. I've been seeing all the other people on, in, on, on, on YouTube confessing their porn addictions, man. And boy, I've been struggling a battle, maybe crazier, worse than theirs. Like earlier, way earlier than them. Going through it since like a jit, man. Since a little kid, I was going through this, man. Like, it's just... I can't believe I'm finna make a video right now, bro. Like, you know, this finna be a funny story, but also like serious. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a serious addiction. It's serious. It's really, it messed you up in life. It, it, it's it's serious, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of y'all still do it to this day. I know a lot of y'all went through it. Not only men, but females as well. Like, all of us go through this. Like, this is like real, real deal of problem in the world right now. And it's even worse now than it was before. But listen, man. I'm gonna just give y'all like you know the backstory, like how it all started and stuff like that. From when I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? When I was a jet, like I was a bro, I was a teeny like teeny bopper man, like really te real small, real deal small teeny bopper man. And um, I don't even know my exact age, but I had to be like ten years old or somewhere around there, like ten years old or somewhere around there. And listen, man, listen. So like my 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 dad always had like bad females around like I don't like he was uh he was he was real deep in the game he had so many females and it was all bad pretty and they was just oh just super nice man just super nice like you know what I'm saying and that was just like the beginning of like just the very beginning the tip of the iceberg where I was like you know seeing these females and I'm like wow they, they you know they look nice and I know that I can see that I'm interested in females you know what I'm saying these grown women though but I'm interested in them you know what I'm saying I'm a, I'm a little kid and I'm interested I'm like bro she's like she's she's very pretty and stuff like that I, I kind of like her you know what I'm saying I'm, but I'm a little kid man little kid I'm talking about like grown females so you, you know the problem is gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be sick when I actually see some things right so that's which is where it starts stemming off at you know I'm seeing these females and stuff that he that that he around. I'm like, man, wow, that's nice, man. You know, I wish I could have me one and whatnot like that and stuff like that. And but um, you know what I'm saying? But that that time, you know, I ain't seen nothing further than you know just seeing a pretty female, which is which is you know nothing lighthearted. You know what I'm saying? I never got exposed to it or like you know exposed to sex or anything like that. Or you know what I'm saying? At that point in time, but. I did when I went to my uncle house, man. The first, this is the first time I got exposed to porn, man. I went to my uncle house, and you know, my my dad had told me like, go pick a room. We gonna sleep sleep here for the night. You know what I'm saying? Just go pick a pick a room, and then I said, I'm going around picking room. I'm looking for the room, see if I could get the best room or what. Now I'm going upstairs and stuff. This is a big house now. You know, I'm sorry, I'm not we not used to this. We from the hood and whatnot. When the uncle, he lived in a nice little nice two story crib, big crib and all that with a pool in the back. So I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm running around I'm like, hold on, this room right here. I don't know. I don't know. You, know you got to have him pick your room for everybody. But us pick their room. So I'm like, uh, you want to pick this one? So I found a room and I found a room right on the edge of the house, uh, upstairs on, on the edge. And man, I'm like, yeah, this is a nice room right here. I like this one. I like this one. I had a TV, had uh, the, the, uh, the movie shelf on the, on the right hand side, man. So I'm, I, I, told my, I told my dad, I'm like, I'm, I picked this one. I picked this one. And he was like, all right, all right, you can uh, sleep in there for the night, get you know, keep, get your room right and whatnot, how you want it, you know. So I'm like, all right. See, I'm already, I'm nervous, bro. Like, it's crazy I'm talking about this right now. I never thought I would talk about this online. Like, you know what I'm saying? I used to stream a little bit, and I used to tell them boys, tell them boys a little something, you know what I'm saying, a little bits and pieces, but, like, never full, the full complete of, you know what I'm saying, my addiction because I was still battling with it. So uh, I'm, in, I'm in my new room and whatnot for the day. I turn on the TV, man. <sighs> My uncle forgot and left a tape in the TV, man. I kid you not. I turn the TV on, and what's playing, man? Porn, dog. <laughs> it was a black dude, black jet, riding on the go-kart, bro. He was riding on the go-kart, and white girls running naked. <laughs> I kid you not. Bro, that boy, he running, riding on the go-kart, got the thing out. Naked, man. Got the white chicks running naked. Them stay naked, too. Got the things jumping, booty jumping. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Now, I ain't, I ain't made that. I was kind of, I ain't made that reaction. I was like, intrigued. I'm like, oh, my God. And I, I, first thing I did, I looked at the door. <laughs> I looked at the door. I'm like, because the door was open, but I didn't want to close it. I didn't want to be suspicious. Enough. So I, got, I just kind of left it open while I was watching it, which is kind of dumb. But I'm watching it. I'm like, I'm letting it play out. I'm like, I'm just, you know, I'm sitting there like this, watching the thing. Man, this man ended up picking up three naked white girls running, dog, and just greased all of them. I'm like, oh, that man is him. 
oh my god and i'm in my first time seeing titties and, and budgies and all this type of stuff i'm like oh my god this is it man like it, i felt a, a, a rush or a, a rage in me i'm like what is this feeling you know what i'm saying like what is this feeling man and now i'm legit so i I start rubbing my, my bottom half on the on the carpet, so I might be giving too much information, but listen, man, I don't care. I'm way past it now. I was a little kid, man. Listen, this is real talk, you know. I gotta be transparent with y'all. Like, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it all the way there, bro. I'm gonna let y'all boys know, like, it's, it's serious, it's deep. Y'all boys can laugh at me. I'm gonna be the clown for y'all boys, for y'all boys to be able to overcome it, all right? So I don't care, bro. Y'all boys talk about me. Damn, I look hot. Listen, it's whatever. So I'm I'm legit. I'm rubbing my, you know what I'm saying? I'm rubbing my bottom half on the carpet and stuff. I don't know about jacking off and all that yet. I'm just rubbing off my carpet. I'm like, because I'm feeling something. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I got some emotion, something I got to get out of me, you know what I'm saying? So I do that. And then I feel a high. I'm just like, like a little mini high. Just before, you know, my bar dropping and whatnot. I'm just feeling a little tingles in my body. I'm like, oh, that feel amazing. You know what I'm saying? I feel good. So I, I, I turn the tape off, man. And ever since then, from there, man, I'm like, and I got to get older so I can do that. I promise I said that. I'm like, I have to get older so I can do that, bro. Literally, from that point, I saw that tape. I'm like, I have to get older so I could do that. I have to. Got to, bro. Because I'm thinking only adults can do that, right? So from there, man, it started, man. And then my second time getting exposed, right? You know, and then from there, it was like, uh, I didn't really have access to porn or whatnot. I was just had that same tape in my head and I'm just replaying it. And bro, I did all type of crazy stuff. I, then, I, then that's where I started like getting into like learning how to jack off and whatnot or just, just moving my junk, you know what I'm saying? Just moving my junk, trying to get like a little high out of it or something like that. And then that wasn't enough. And then I got like started trying to get toilet paper roll heads to do it with or a mannequin like, <laughs> oh my God. Listen, bro. I, you know, listen, mannequin heads, heads were like, you know, where your woman, um, your your aunties and stuff, they put they they um you know, they wigs on. They used to, they used to have like these little styrofoam mannequin heads where they put their wigs on and stuff like that. And I used to um you know what I'm saying, it was like a little hole at the bottom of it, bro. I used to use it and just go crazy on my I kid you not, bro, I kid you not, bro. I'm not even lying to y'all boy right now. I used to use it and go crazy when they jump, right? And they used to feel crazy. I used to get my joints get red though, because the style from rubbing against is not good for the skin. But I ain't care. I, I used to do it dry. Oh, I like kid. Listen, bro, it's crazy to talk about. But I used to do it dry, bro. Dry. All right. Get, about to get a rash on my jump, like real deal. Like, yeah, man. It was bad, bro. It was bad. But I felt good at the time. You know what I'm saying? And at this time, I wasn't thinking about, why did I just do that or nothing like that? I don't know what I'm doing. I just know it feels good. And I'm supposed to be doing this. I feel good. I want to do whatever it feels good. I'm a jet. Listen, I ain't regretting none of my stuff decisions. I'm just like, I'm just doing what feels right at the time, man. So I'm doing that for a while until I get my next exposure to it. So my next exposure was at my my great grandma's house, man. I was there with my cousins. And I'm just sitting on the couch being all innocent. I'm, I'm still young, you know what I'm saying? I, I kind of forgot about the video and stuff like that. And I don't really do that type of stuff no more like that because I just, you know, let it run off like any other thing. A kid, you know, you do something for a living, you run it off. Now, I'm saying my cousin, he's like, yo, Malachi, come over here. I'm going to show you something real quick. He had like a little, he had a phone. I ain't had no phone, but he had like a little phone. Like, did I have a, f I think I had a little phone, but I don't, I don't think I was able to access the internet on it or whatnot. So I don't know what age I was at this time, but I was in elementary for sure. Um, Definitely in elementary, maybe like second grade or something like that. It was, it was, bro, I don't know. Listen, it was, nah, nah, third. It was, it was real early on. I don't remember the age, exact ages and whatnot, but it was early, man. <clears throat> so, um, maybe, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I was like 11 or something. I don't know. So I get my, um, he get, he, he showed me on his phone. He like, yo, Malachi, look at this real quick. Look at this. I'm like, what happened? I'm not knowing what he finna show me. He showed me, he introduced me to the hub. This is why I first got introduced it to the hub. My boy put me on the hub. That boy showed me a video. He's like, yo, yo, look at this. And he's scrolling on the hub on the, on the main page. I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, bro, watch out. You're not supposed to be doing that. Oh my gosh, man. I, at that point, I didn't really I didn't want to see. It. I'm like, all right, all right, chill, 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 chill. I don't really want to see. I'm not trying to get in trouble and whatnot. I was, I was a good kid, you know what I'm saying, at times. So I'm like, yeah, I ain't, I would, I'm really not trying to see that right now. We, we, we can't get in trouble right now, you know what I'm saying? So. But now I know what the hub is. You know what I'm saying? So now I can go to that website if I really want to access the hub. Now, listen. Now, I didn't go to the hub after that. I don't believe. I don't think I did. 
I don't think I really went to the hub or nothing like that after. No, nah, I was just into now I was just playing video games and stuff like that. I was just chilling as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Just playing my video games and, and vibing. I was just playing a lot of games at this time. So games, like I say, games can help you. You know what I'm saying? You just something just it don't have to be games in particular, but something to be keep you busy and, and keep your mind off of give you the same high as that and just keep your mind off of it. Cause games I used to love them a like games was life for me, like I used to game and I used to really feel the, just the same joy I had when I was, you know what I'm saying, just doing my little jack off with the mannequin head. I had the same joy. So I didn't really need to do, you know, that and whatnot. And I didn't really know at the time how to, the specific, like he showed me the website, but like I ain't know how to get back to it type stuff. You know what I'm saying? I remember I remember the website, but like I'm like, I don't really know if I want to search it up on my main browser. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know the little extra and caught, you know, and all that stuff. I ain't know all that t- extra stuff. I'm like, I ain't trying to get caught. I wasn't trying to get into trouble. So I'm like, nah. So now, man. I get to middle school, man. I get to middle school. Hold on, my old boy get locked up. I get to middle school. Now, I'm innocent still in middle school. I think I was in, was it sixth grade or I think it was like sixth, seventh. I think it might have been seventh grade, maybe. Maybe seventh grade or the end of sixth grade. I'm innocent still. I'm still innocent, man. Now, my peers, my classmates, all the dudes. Now, we talking about, um, we talking about, they talking about meat sizes on the bus. Now I'm innocent. Now, now this not this is a part I never thought about. I'm like meat size. I'm like so. What I say? I say, well, I'm taller than y'all, so my junk bigger than y'all's, right? And they like, nah, it don't, it, don't, it don't work like that. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like your meat is you know whatever. It depends. It's just different for everybody. I'm like, well, so how like it's it's no sus stuff. Right? So I'm like, so how big y'all chunk is? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, no. no you, you this is what all men go through, bro. During puberty, growing up, bro, we all went through this, man. So probably some people still going through it now, but we over with that now. But we like some asking like, how long y'all junk is and stuff like that. So we all we all agreed that we gonna go home and measure our junks and stuff like that. And so the next day we came back, so I'm like, oh yeah, bro, I got like my junk like uh my junk like four point five. <laughs> I'm a dude like yo my junk six. I'm like yo what? How your junk six? I'm taller than you, right? I'm thinking to go by like it's for, like body proportions, and it's not like that at all, man. So. He like, yeah, my junk six. The other dude was like, yeah, my junk five. And whole time, some of these just was lying, bro. But they, but I, time I, I was so naive to it and I was new to it. I'm thinking, nah, bro, they not lying. So now I'm insecure. I'm feeling down. I'm like, no. I'm like, w- w- is it going to grow more? Like, now nah, I'm paying attention to my meat size, which I never was before. And that's a good thing. Now I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm like, but I got to get to six. <laughs> So listen, man, now, it's, now I'm trying to start figuring out ways how to make my junk longer. Oh, my God, bro. When I tell you, now I went down a crazy rabbit hole. This is what started every, like, the real bad addiction. Like, this is what started it, bro. So I go ask my big brother, bro. I'm hanging out with my big brother. We ain't hang out that much since we got to Miami because we used to live in Atlanta, Georgia. So when we got to Miami, we ain't talk that much, but I, used to, I started back hitting him up and stuff like that, talking to him. I'm like, um, so brother, like. I was like, what size your meat? Like, it was, I know stuff was just weird and sus. I'm like, what size your meat is, bro? He was like, he started laughing. like, bro, what? I'm like, because he was older. He was like, um, I was already in high school. I was in middle school. So um, he was older. So he's like, what am I asking? I'm like, yo, 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 that's gay and stuff like that. I'm like, yo, yo, chill. I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see for my stuff. So he telling me, like, you know, his size went up. I'm like, his jump way bigger than mine. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, how you get yours like that? That's what I asked him. I'm like, how you get yours like that? He like, bro, I don't know. Every day I just watch, you know, he, I just jack off every day. That's what he said. Watch more. I'm like, no. I said, all right, bet. That boy just gave me the method. I'm finna go crazy. <laughs> I kid you not, bro. My boy just gave me the method. I'm finna go crazy now. My boy said he jack off every day and, and go crazy and, and it get his jump longer. It's like a workout for it. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. It's like working out. Like, I'm like, okay, for sure. I'm finna do it. Man, I go down a crazy rabbit hole of just... Every day after school, coming home, not even if I really didn't even really want to, just forcing myself because I think I'm going to get the length. Now I'm doing it just for length. I, I ain't, I'm not even worried about the female. I'm just not, you know, I'm just trying to get the length, bro. I'm, every day I come home, I'm, I'm trying to get right and do all, you know, every day, like, I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying, just increase my length, right? I'm like, if I could control it, I'm going to make sure I'm right. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just how I used to think. I'm like, 
you know, working out, I'm gonna get strong. I'm gonna make sure my body fit. If I can make, if I can control that, I'm gonna make sure it's as good as it's a, it's a, you know, it's a good size for the females. If I can control it, I could do it. You know what I'm saying? So if it's in my hands, it's gonna get done for sure. If I can control it, it's finna get done. So that's how I was thinking. I was just a, a maniac. I'm like, yeah, I'm finna make sure my junk right, and I'm not finna be, you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna be sitting around here with this. I'm finna make sure my junk get out there alone. Make sure it's good for all the females. You know what I'm saying? I'm, Listen, man, I was like that for real. So I'm determined because anything I used to put my mind to, I was a real smart kid. Every anything I used to put my mind to, anything that I wanted to do, I got it done. Right. So this was this is another one of those things, and this was a, a very important high up on the list thing. For me. I'm like, I gotta get a big meat. <laughs> I'm not playing. I have to. There's no other. I, I got to. Okay. I must have the biggest. You know what I'm saying? Meat. Right. So now I'm looking at the um the tapes, man. I'm like. Going every day. I'm going every day, multiple times a day. Like, this is where the addiction came. I'm like, multiple times a day, just now I'm getting addicted. I'm like, oh, man. And, I, I, and I'm not seeing the results. So I, I'm like, bro, my brother lied to me. <laughs> he lied to me. Now nah, I messed up. Now nah, I got the addiction. Now nah, it's already part of my daily routine now. My brother lied to me. Because like now, because I'm, I'm looking at it, right? I'm like, yeah, my job not getting bigger. It's getting smaller. I'm like, but he told me. <sighs> now I start looking up stuff on my own. I'm like, does Jack and all help you? People's like, I look, I look it up on Google now. Does Jack and all help you get a uh, bigger meat? Oh, uh, nah, I don't, it don't, it don't help you. It, it, you know, it's not. You're not supposed to jack off that much. Oh my god. You're like now you get get erectile dysfunction. Now you get. I'm like, oh my god. P now. I'm like, oh. my they talking about all type of stuff that's scaring me, right? Penile dysfunction, penile uh, disease. I'm like, oh my god, this man just set me up for the kill, man. I'm like, I'm done. I'm I'm, I'm done. It's it's over. It's I'm not over with. Now I'm walking around school, middle school, insecure, still looking at the girls and whatnot. Now I don't. I'm scared to, you know what I'm saying? Approaching because now my junk look like it's just I can't get it bigger. Now it's small, even smaller than it was before. It was already small. So I'm like, yeah. And I, and I I went to a like I went to a real like my middle school was ghetto, bro. Like and these girls was grown. They was greasing in middle school. Yes, bro. Listen, listen. They was greasing in middle school. I don't know, you know, we look back now or the adults. Listen, we was we've been on that since elementary in the hood. You know what I'm saying? And probably most schools like listen, these little kids out here, think about it. These little kids out here, they know about all the stuff. I'm telling you, they know everything. They know it all because I knew it. I was in fifth grade, third grade, with a, with a, trying to get girlfriends, kissing on girls in the stairwell in elementary school. I've been on that, I promise. I promise, man. I promise, man. I had a girl put on lipstick. I still remember her name. I ain't going to say her name. Put on lipstick. She wanted to show off her lipstick, so she came and just kissed me on the neck on some extra tongue stuff in elementary. We knew what hickeys was in middle school. You know what I'm saying? People was greasing in middle school. It's a young age. It's, 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 a, it's a terrible thing, but it's out there. Like it's 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 just crazy how you know I'm saying we were just so young and we know. And I'm sure today is even worse for the kids. Like I'm I'm knowing in elementary and middle school that they going through this right now. I'm knowing high school for sure. Like you can't even. I'm knowing them jits on that man. You know what I'm saying them jits on that man. I'm already knowing man. I'm already knowing. In, in, in my middle school, the, the the little girls, they like the older dudes. You know what I'm saying? They like older dudes, and they used to like dudes that's out of school and stuff. And these dudes used to be mess, perverts, mess with these little girls in middle school. And they they out of school, they got a car and all. Listen, man, it's really bad out there. If y'all boys don't even see it for y'all, it's really bad out here. The addiction is wild. It's real. Like, for real. But let me finish my story, though. So, yeah, in, in middle school, you know, it was all about, now we they were talking about the meat sizes. Now it's like, who got bodies? Like now we talking about who done really greased the girl already? And some dudes already done did, man. I'm like, you you, you greased the girl? You lost your V card? That's all it was about. Middle school, high school is about losing that V card. You lost your V card? You was him. Listen, listen. I'm laughing about it because this is what it, this is. I'm telling you, this is how it was. This was the truth, right? If you lost your car, you was him. If you had multiple bodies, you was him. All right. And I have not one body on my plate, man. I had to get me one. Listen, it was all about competition, bro. It was all about competition. I'm a competitive dude. You know what I'm saying, right, you got, and it's about being cool and competition, bro. So I'm, try, I'm want to be both. You, are, I'm a little young dude. I'm trying to be cool as possible, and I want to be the best, right? Now I'm on the prowl in, in middle school. Sixth grade, I ain't getting nothing to happen. Seventh grade, 
I'm on the prowl. You know what I'm saying? I got the I got the eighth grade girls. You know what I'm saying? They they looking at me a little bit. These some fast fast girls. They 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 down to go now. And some of them almost took they took over there with me, but I was scared. I ain't gonna lie. I told y'all I was scared. Now my size. I'm like yo. What if I pull up my size? She laugh at it. And then the school talked about the drama a lot. So if I if it was known that I had a small meat. I was done. My whole career was over with. <laughs> and it was like, we had a big Instagram thing too. We had, like we was big on social media as kids too. We had our own little universe on, on Instagram and whatnot. We had girls that was IG famous. Like our IG famous was like, you had 7,000, like 15,000 um, followers on Instagram. Like you just, everybody in the county knew you. Like everybody in Dade and stuff like that, everybody knew you. You know what I'm saying? So I really wasn't Instagram famous or nothing like that. I used to buy fake followers and stuff, try to fit in. But <sighs> look, listen, man, I don't been through it all, man. Listen, I'm, I'm kidding you not. Y'all are not alone, bro. I've been through the motions and I made it through. Thank God. I made it through clean. I promise. Listen, I'm going to get to the finish. I'm going to finish the story, though. So I'm just going through, you know what I'm saying, trying to, I want to grease a girl, but I got to find the right one. I'm still scared. And my, my boys, they all around me talking about stuff and stuff like that. I got girls that like me and stuff like that. I still was a handsome individual. They didn't know what I had on my pants and all like that, but I was a handsome individual. I was kind of... And, and, and I was still in my godly stuff too, cause my grandma and stuff. So I was, I was just all contradicting in, in middle school, man. But I, I really just couldn't go up and talk to the females like that. I really just couldn't do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I really couldn't do it on my own, man. Like my my group circle, they really wasn't on that. So I like, I had, but I, the, the the friend that I had, I was on that. You know what I'm saying? Cam, you know who you are, my boy Cam. He was on that, and he was really trying to. He was really getting me right. I was really starting to hang with him a lot, so I could really try to get on what he was on, but. You know what I'm saying? During the whole time of this, I'm still at home watching porn every day because I'm thinking I'm never going, you know what I'm saying? I'm never going to be able to talk to do it with one of these females right now. So I'm saying? Like, so the easiest way to do it was just to get my phone and just search up the hub and just get right by myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm safer this way. That's what, that was my whole thought. For, I was safer that way. And to be honest, it probably did save me. I ain't gonna lie. Porn did a look good for once for me. Cause I probably would, if I would have never had it, I probably would have went out there and just took the risk, and the risk would have bit me back in the in the butt, and I would have been the laugh of the, the laughing stock of the school. You know what I'm saying, and the, the and the word would have got out, and in my next school it would have followed me over there. Oh yeah, that's that J. He got small me that we can't agree. All that, yeah, 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 yeah. So it probably did save me a little bit, to be honest. But listen, it's not. It, you don't have to run to it, bro. Listen, do not get into it for that. Don't do it. I'm telling you, still not worth it. Even though it, it helped me right there. Still not worth it. Still not worth it. All right. Just wait. All right. You're gonna find a girl. Just wait. All right. But so middle school. So I'm now I'm in eighth grade, man. Now eighth grade, I'm a little more confident now. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little more confident. My jump done grew a little bit. You know, you know how you get a little couple of extra inches on there. You know, you feeling good. I'm feeling good now. I'm in, in eighth grade, so I'm like, you know, uh, you know, I'm still trying to play with. I'm playing with girls now. You know, I'm. You know, just trying to, you know, do my little sauce. We used to call, call it sauce game. Before it was Riz, it was called sauce. I'm trying to do my little sauce game to the girls and stuff like that. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? Because I'm, you know, my, my, my boy Cam coaching me and stuff like that. And he put me on the game. He's like, bro, you got to, I'm like, ah. And I was super picky, too. That was a big thing. I was super picky. So, and, you know, may, maybe seeing the girls my dad used to be with, porn, it made me super picky. And these girls that used to go to my school were never like that. They weren't that. They weren't it. Like we in the slums of the of the hood, the, the low income with the lowest income class possible school. So the girls, even if they were pretty, they looked they they weren't up to par because my type was just set so here. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just so it was just bad, man. So I really wasn't attracted to him like that. I really, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm looking at the you know the videos, you know, on the porn videos, you can find a girl of your dreams. Fully unclothed, getting smacked. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, it's just, it's just that easy. It's like you got, it's easy access, right? And I'm already used to being at home anyway, just being by myself on a game or just a fantasy world in my head, right? So it was just super, always just super easy for me. And then, um, but I just, I just knew I had it. Something, something had to change, right? Something just had to change. I can't just be on this. I just, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a lame. That's what we used to look at in school. Like, dang, you jack off. You, you watch a point. You a lame jet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was looked at as you was a gook. Like you know what I'm saying, Gook is like a dork. You know what I'm saying. You just a you you not like that for real. So I'm just, I'm like yeah, I got it. I gotta just put it down and do something. So all through middle school, I ain't getting nothing done. The most I did was like call a girl to the bathroom, kiss her on the lips and stuff like, grab a little bit, mess with a girl on the bus like that, touch her a little bit. But I never really I never really did to do like never got it done. Never even got my even not even got head like I ain't even get head like I'm just scared for that. So 
but I was kind of more confident in middle school. And we even took a trip, road trip to university. I'm on the bus. I'm showing my print, all that type of stuff with the girl, girl, loving it, eating it up. But then I got annoyed by her. I didn't really want her following me no more. I'm like, it was all type of stuff, bro. I was a weird dude. You know what I'm saying? I was a weird dude. Like, did I want it or did I not want it? It was like that type of stuff like that, right? And now, all through, it was a girl that liked me too in, in middle school, and I ain't never like her back, but she wanted to do it so bad with me. <clears throat> and then I, I just wouldn't let her do it. I'm like, nah, man, because I'm just super picky, and she just wasn't my type. All type of stuff, man. And then we got to high school, man. All right. High school, I'm still not on that yet in ninth grade, right? Ninth grade, I'm still not on that yet. I, I find a, a, a beautiful girl, but we just friends and stuff like that. The school, the dudes in school, they, they, uh, they what's the name? They hating on me because I'm hanging out with a cute girl and whatnot. But we wasn't even doing that like that. You know, I looked at her like a little sis, you know what I'm saying? Like a sister. But she was older than me and a grade above me. I was just cool with her, just, you know, find friends and whatnot. I was calling myself, you know, saucing, but. It wasn't for that with her, you know what I'm saying? I just wasn't on that level that she was on yet. She was super grown as a 10th grader in, in, in high school, and I just wasn't on that like yet, like on her level. So it just I just couldn't take it that with her, you know? So, But I'm going around trying to talk to girls and just, you know, introduce myself and talk to girls and stuff like that, and, you know, but nothing worked in that grade. I mean, I'm still battling my porn addiction, going home and just wagging off every day, every day, man. It was just so bad, man, so bad. <laughs> So bad, man. Now I might I might be over exaggerating exaggerating with every day, but it was often, bro. It was very often. So now tenth grade, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now over the ninth grade, the tenth grade summer, I got a growth spurt in both areas, height and knee size. Yes, yes, I was him that this time, right? Then I think I got I got a car over the summer too. So I'm like, oh yeah, was it? What did I? Was it tenth or ninth? Eleventh? No, I think tenth. Wait, was it? I think 10th grade, I got my, um, 10th grade, I got my, um, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, I got my car, 10th grade. And now I'm, you know, walking around more confident and stuff like that. I'm, I feel like the man, nah, I believe it was 10th, was it 10th grade? Listen, it was one of those, 11th or 10th grade. But my voice got deeper. You know what I'm saying? I got taller. I mean, you got taller. Listen, it, it was, I was feeling like that now. I had way more confidence. I'm like, yeah, I'm, listen, I'm looking, I'm looking quite as, uh, you know, credible now. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking like I can get some things done. I'm looking like, yeah, I'm quite able now, you know? So I am I got way more confidence now. I'm talking to the girl. My voice deep. I'm like, I'm talking to him because I was a squeaker in ninth grade. In tenth grade, my voice was deep. I'm talking to the girl. I'm like, yo, what's going on, baby? You know what I'm saying? Listen, man, we all go to, through the same stuff. I'm telling you, you're not alone, my boy. We all go through the same stuff. Puberty, growing up. So I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the girls on the phone, trying to use my deep, my deep voice. What's good, baby? What it is? You know what I'm saying? Like, what you got on right now? All that type of stuff, right? So I'm going around messing with all the girls. I'm messing with all the girls in the school now. I'm not. I'm off the leash now. Now I'm a, 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 a dude thought. Like I'm walking around, just every girl I see, I'm spitting game real quick, just running, uh, yeah, yeah, just using the height, using my voice, just using the, you know, the face card. I'm like. <laughs> just making them laugh. And I was funny. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I've always been funny more than anything. Like I just always made them laugh, right? So think about this, bro. I'm 6'4". No, no, I was like 6'2 at the time. Like 6'2", funny, sexy. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? I got a car. So the doors were very much open for me at this time. All right? So I'm going around. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to grease now. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to get in the door and grease now. So I, it's this girl that um, was interested in me. I was still scared, though, but... I was more willing, right? So it was this girl that was interested in me. And um, she, uh, wait, I ain't had my car at the time. I did not have my car at the time. Not yet. My car came in 10th grade to 11th grade summer. So I did not have the car at the time. But yes. So this girl, she was interested in me and whatnot. And I'm like, all right, you know. She had just broke up with a boyfriend the day before. I was a, listen, I'm a noob. I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't, listen, I'm just fresh at the game. She just broke up with her, day, her boyfriend the day before. And she, was looking at me and it's like a group chat leak where she put a picture of me in there. I was going crazy on the ground. Come on, man. And she put a picture of me in the group chat and said, this boy so fine or whatnot. I just want to, you know, do something to him and whatnot. And so she had just broke with a boyfriend and we were about to be on going break, right? So she told my homeboy because she wanted me. She was like, oh, she just broke with a boyfriend or whatnot and they finna have a um, hotel party over the little break and whatnot. I'm like, say no more. All right. <laughs> We there, all right. I was scared, but we there, all right. Cause I got I got to make some shape. So me and my whole boy pull up in the Uber. We ain't had no car, but my homeboy he came to my crib because his mama dropped him off here. Then we both Uber from here to the hotel. So he pull up in a girl. You know how I go down? I got my little slides on, my little tank top, my little skinny jean, ready to you know what I'm saying? Do something. <laughs> so listen, man. He pull up. I see the girl I'm there for. I give a hug. My my homeboy got a girlfriend that's there too. He give a hug and whatnot. 
So we in the room and whatnot. There's other girls in there too, man. You know, I know how. Now I know how, how that used to go a little bit. My old boy used to put me on with like other girls. They'll be trying to be jealous and stuff. I can talk and talk about you and stuff like that. So just be careful what you do in the room with all of them in there. So I, I'm just, I got the girls sitting on my lap now. You know, so I'm kicking it like it's the real first, like real first interaction I had in a while with, with a female. So I'm, I'm kicking it with her. You know, what I'm saying it's real life now. This is away from the porn. So I'm kicking them. Like I'm kicking it with her. You know what I'm saying? I'm kicking it with her. We we she, she she's sitting on my lap doing all that type of stuff and they say uh y'all want lap dances we just um let me slow down they say y'all want lap dances I say yeah for sure let's be let's get it popping you know what I'm saying so I'm sitting on the chair she going crazy on me uh, I'm going crazy I'm trying to I'm a little scared I'm a little, I'm a little scared I don't know what to do it all the way but so I'm just you know looking a little awkward but I'm getting it done in me right so. They talking about they finna go to the movies. I'm like, oh yeah, you know what goes down in the movie theater. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm finna get it done in there. Got to, got to. So we go to the movie theater. My, my homeboy sit in the same row, but further down. So we can look at each other and be like, you know what I'm saying? You know how you do. <laughs> and then I'm sitting right here, man. Me and her, I'm, I tell her, I'm like, I'm a noob. I don't know what to do. I tell, I'll tell her straight up. I'm, t I'm just being honest. And like, I'm caught in a position. I'm like, listen. You got me on hard right now. I probably told her that. You got me on hard right now, and I'm a noob. I don't know what to do. Can you, can you help me? And can you teach me? She said, what? I'm like, yeah, I ain't never did it before. I ain't never do nothing like that. Can you teach me how to, like, kiss and all that type of stuff? So she she started helping me a little bit. I ain't, I ain't allowed to honesty work a little bit. So she started, we started tongue kissing a little bit and stuff like that. She said I wasn't bad at that. And she let me feel a, you know what I'm saying, feel a titty. And I'm like, oh, hold on. This is my first time really feeling a nipple and whatnot. I'm like, hold on, this is a little, okay, I'm getting out of the porn now. I'm getting out of that stage. So I'm like, okay, this is nice. This is nice. And then um, we left the movie theater. We did all that. We angry or nothing like that. She ain't do nothing with me, uh, nothing like that. But I just did a little feeling, like the little introduction here and whatnot. And then we left the movie theater. We left the whole hotel party. She was like texting me after, and she was like, "Oh, I, you know, I messed with you. You know, I like all this and stuff like that." So I'm I'm geek right now. I'm talking to my home. I'm like, "Yeah, I went crazy. I'm doing. I did my thing. You know, what I'm saying I'm feeling good. I ain't on that porn no more. I'm good." So now the next day, she hit me back, bro. Oh, I hope I ain't lead you on and. Yeah, I ain't really mean to lead you on like that, but I just still have feelings for my for my ex, and you know we're gonna get back together and whatnot. Cause her ex had posted something on Instagram that really got to her, and he she, he posted reposted the video of me getting twerked on by her, and man, oh my god, man, and dumb old me, I done fell in love over over a two day span, man. I done fell in love. I'm all in love now. I fall right back into the porn, man. Fall right back in. Like, it's, I'm just never going to work for me. I just fall. I just fall hard. I fall hard into it, man. Every day now, I'm just just trying to get the pain away. It's jacking the pain away. It's going crazy. And it was terrible, man. Terrible thing to fall back into. But I fell right back into it so hard, man. But now I was just on some demon time, man. I was just like, I went back to school to the her, her, her dude easing me, side on me. I'm, like, I'm looking at him like, what you got a problem with me for? You need to have a problem with her. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't do nothing to me. He ain't, he ain't want no problems or nothing like that. I ain't want no problems either, for real. But, yeah, he ain't want no problems or nothing like that. Um, But now I'm on demon time, bro. Like, any, now, the girls, I don't even care no more. Like, who I'm messing with, I don't care anymore. I'm going to just treat them like trash. I'm going to be a, she's the one that turned that arc in me. She gave me the, that villain arc, you know, how a lot of dudes are now playing females and stuff like that for a living. Now I'm on that. All right? And she did that. I'm on that. I was ready to settle down with her. And I was just dumb and I'm stupid. I ain't had no knowledge because she just got a relationship. That was a mistake. But now I'm on that time right now. So that's a girl that always wanted me before and I knew that. So I left my class. I started leaving my classes and going to her class and pulling up on her and just sitting with her in the class where she was in because they, ain't, they really, really wasn't looking like that because it was a big library. And I just started flirting with her, talking to her. But, but I was doing it with the sole intention to grease. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to smack that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hot now. So I'm just every day I'm playing with her. I'm touching her all on her and stuff like that. Feeling real good and whatnot. She feeling me. So now I'm in there with her, man. She pulled up to my crib. She, I finally get her there. It was something I, a little trick I used with food or something like that. I, pull, I got her to pull up to my crib. My old boy let her come. Now I got her to the crib. Now me and her going on the bed. You know what I'm saying? We doing the do or not. <sighs> it didn't happen. <laughs> it didn't happen. You know why? Malachi was shrimp. I was literally, literally, li like, <sighs> listen, it was, I felt so embarrassed, dog. She ain't know that, but, like, I couldn't do it. And she she was kind of didn't want to do it either because she was a virgin and she was scared. She just, you know, so I didn't do it. But that's the thing. That's, that's the whole story, though.
basically, I was just, I just, you know what I'm saying? I just really couldn't do it with these females no more because I was just a shrimp. Like, I just, you know, I had jacked off so much, I wore my junk out, and I it just couldn't get up no more. You know what I'm saying? I really just, just couldn't get up. Any situation I got in, couldn't get up. You know what I'm saying? Another girl after her, after not greasing her, missions failed on her. Another girl after her, couldn't do it, couldn't get up. Same time again after her, you know, after I left high school, couldn't do it, couldn't get up. And and then after I left high school, I started doing way better. I ain't, you know, I was jacking off only like every four months and every, you know what I'm saying, doing every doing good spurts. Every four months I jacked off or every three months. I'm, and to this day, that's the cycle I'm on right now. A cycle I'm on right now. Until I can completely just get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Just completely rid of it. And I always thought that, because I ain't have a girlfriend in a minute. I always thought that, you know, not having a girlfriend was the reason. I'm like, I'm just doing this until I get a girlfriend. But nah. You know what I'm saying I want to be ready when she comes or be ready. I have to stop that to be ready for her. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, you know, I even I used to tell I used to talk to God in my head. I know I know y'all be talking to God like pleading out for help and, for, and stuff like that. I used to try to run from him. I used to try to hide. You know what I'm saying? I used to try to try to hide from him. But y'all boys way more bolder than me and talking to him straight out and just telling him y'all need help when I ain't. Me, I was trying to do it on my own. I'm still trying to do it on my own, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Because every I got an urge every like four months or something like that. But I do good. I, mean, I be clean for a long time. It just it feel like the longest time. And then an urge come out of nowhere, and then fall right back in. But I only do it for like a day. Like it's not. It's nothing like way before. Like one day, no, another four months I'm clean. Like it's nothing like before. Uh, before it, eight times a day, every week. Like it was crazy. It was bad. So way better now. But I still ain't rid of it all the way like i'm gonna be honest i still ain't rid of it all the way you know what i'm saying just had a relapse just a, a couple weeks two weeks ago i think something like that just had a relapse you know what i'm saying but I'm, now i gotta start again and i just feel like i lost all progress but i didn't because i am doing way better you know what i'm saying i can't condemn myself so bad but because I, I am doing way better but i just want to get to the point where i rid it all the way but it's, it's a real true addiction and then every time too every time i break the streak or, you know, jack off, something bad happened in my life, really bad. I kid you not, really bad. Like, I'd be on my ground with, you know, whatever I'm doing, my work or anything I'm doing, making so much progress. I lose it all right after I do that. I promise. It's, it's a chain effect, and it happens like that every time. But I still continue to do it. That's a real bad addiction, man. Really bad addiction. And I got to stop. And I promise you, I promise you, the moment that I just Break the chain. I just say the day that that urge come again. I just say no, and just go for. And to the end of time, just not jacking off. Everything in my life gonna fall into place. I promise to God. It happens every time. Every time I was on a streak, my life, everything just falling into place. Everything just good. I promise. It's just literally the smallest things. It's different for everybody, but the smallest thing from between me and God is that addiction, that lust, that 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 porn addiction. I promise is that. As soon as I stop. That, then I can get to where I want to go in life. One hundred percent. And some of some for some of you, it's the same thing. You know, same thing. Literally, it's simple. We just gotta stop that. When we set. We're good. Find a hobby. Talk to God. Do something to keep your mind off away from that. And if you you know what it, what leads you to it, don't watch that stuff. Don't look at anything. Don't put yourself in a position to do it again. For me, I feel like I'm so disciplined, I, you know, but I, I'm obviously I'm not because I keep falling in back into the trap. And I be telling myself I'm not finna. Because I think of, I try to think of it from, from different perspectives and ways. I'm like, mm, I'm not finna, uh, you know what I'm saying, be support the industry. You know, that's a sex trafficking industry with the hub, these sex traffic girls. I'm not for that. I'm not for none of that. I can't look at this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, I want to, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I want to wait till I get my girl and not be not have watched it for a long time so that the, the experience would just be so magical and heightened. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't know how good it'll feel. I, I don't know what percent of people actually have good intercourse or make love instead of having sex or just effing. Like, I don't know. Like, it's half of the population don't even know how good good sex feel. Like, most of everybody go through the same stuff. Everybody watching porn with the relationships and all that type of stuff, and they just desensitize themselves. So it's just it's just regular, you know. They just greasing, but they ain't never felt the ecstasy, that high, that both both parties never don't watch it, and they just for the first time after years they do it with each other, and it's just heaven, it's like marriage. Like I, I ain't gonna lie, I would be fine waiting until marriage. It just makes sense, you know. You just wait to marriage. You haven't looked at anything over the years, and you just haven't seen her body over the years, and just that for the one special night, I come together and just join. And it's just so beautiful. 
Everything is just, just can you imagine that? Could you imagine, can you think about the first time you jacked off, how that felt? Imagine that with your partner, both y'all. You can get there, man. I'm going to get there, man. But I, I can't believe I actually confessed and said something about it. I might have just, you know, I'm not the best at, you know, talking. I'm not, I am, I'm a good talker, but, I, you know, situations like this is just kind of nerve-wracking. And I'm glad I got off my chest, though, man. I, I said my story, man. I hope it helped y'all in a way and that y'all, whatever y'all going through, I done been through it. And I'm telling you that I wish I would have never jacked off ever in my life. I wish I never would have did it. Ever. Never would have started. I would have been so him right now. Like, I would be unstoppable right now. So him. My power, my my, my mind, everything. I, I would just be, you can't touch me. You know how much power a person that doesn't jack off or watch porn is? A dude, a man, or a girl, a woman? You know how much power they got? It's how much self control they got, how much power over you they have, because you can't you can't you can't convince them, you can't seduce them. So what other way you gonna you gonna try to get to them? Because you can't get them that way, and that's the way that most people get got. That's a powerful person, and the world I can't talk too much on that, but the world don't want that. They want us to be de degenerates and desensitized, and they want us to watch this porn every day and jack off and just be, you know, be controlled by them. They're the one putting these videos out. They want us to be controlled by them. So we could just be weak and sluggish every day and never get anything done in life and just our relationship with God be bad. Everything just bad. You don't got God. You don't got the earth. You don't got nobody. You just, you in the simulation and they control you. All the succubuses, demons, all of them controlling you just in you because you you just, you just so vulnerable. Everything can just get to you and everything. You know what I'm saying? A girl come twerk in front of you. You falling. She, all she did was a little wiggle and you oh, drew out the mouth. This girl up. She not even like that, but you just so you just that's all you care about. You know, that's how your mind program. That's how they get you. The dudes been being killed, set up because a female. You can never get nobody that don't watch porn or do anything. Set them up with a female. I mean, get in my face. <laughs> like I, you, I, you want to say it? Like you, you, you can't. Like these girls can't touch you. You know what I'm saying? You know how much of a powerful man and force to be reckoned with you are if you don't watch porn and jack off. You can't be touched by anybody. You walk around with your head up, chest, shoulders, shoulders out, man, shoulders back. Like the man, can't nobody touch me. I don't watch. I'm not. I don't fall for nothing. You him. If, if I was able to do that in school, I would have been him. Like I don't know where I would have been right now, but it would have been, been way up. Cause I'm, I'm never thinking like a victim. Cause I'm not a victim. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just never. I, I'm never thinking like. I'm never vulnerable. My strength level was on 100. I got all my semen. You know what I'm saying? I ain't let it out for nobody. Nobody can't make me weak in the knees. I make them weak in the knees. You know what I'm saying? They falling for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just the way you got to think, man. But listen, get through it, man. You can get through it, man. 100% get through it. I've been where you are. I've been where you are. I promise if you stop now, I'm talking to you like this. If you stop now, man, you're going to be a force to be reckoned with. And I know, and there's nothing wrong with one in sex and girls. I I know, but don't never lust. You don't have to lust. And when you get it, you know, you got to be ready, man. Got to be ready. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's a natural hormonal thing. When our bodies, we're attracted to girls we, or boys or whoever you're attracted to. You know what I'm saying? that's just I'm just speaking from how I talk. But whoever you're attracted to, it's a normal thing. It's nothing, you know, it's a normal thing. Just listen, wait. I promise you, the wait will be 100% worth it. The high you're looking for, it's, it's there for you to take. It's there. But don't jack off or don't masturbate, all right? Do not masturbate. And when you get to that high, you're going to be so glad that you waited and you did not masturbate because it's going to be that much better and so last so much more longer. You know, like, you know, a high you just get for like, you get a high, it's just 10 seconds, man. You have to be in 10 seconds and then you back to life. 10 seconds. I'm talking about a high that lasts forever. You can, you can reach that high. Just don't masturbate. I'm telling you, talk to God, whatever you got to do. Don't masturbate. Find a way. I'm telling you right now, just don't do it. Don't do it. Break the habit. Tell, the way I broke it, I'm still breaking it. Just my discipline. I've just started working hard and advancing and just just and I have to write down and remind myself 
every the pros and cons of masturbating. And it's just so many more pros. To, it's just so many more, oh no, so many more cons than pros to masturbating. I don't, you don't get anything out of it. You lose every time. You set yourself back every time. We only have a limited life. The, the life expectancy is like 70 something. And you wasting, listen, th think of it like this. Every time you jack off or masturbate, you're setting your life back another four months. Another four months. Another four months. Another four months. How long are you going to go in this cycle? You're going to get stuck like everybody else? Be like the rest of these dudes or females? That's just set back in life, just lost, doing degenerative just sex and just, you want to be like them? I don't think so. I think if you're here, you you you, ha you know you had a problem and you trying to just see what other people, how other people are dealing with it. And I'm glad that I'm able to talk about it and open up about it. And I want to I give a shout out to who the videos I watch. It's been a couple of videos, man. It's been a couple. It's been a couple of videos. Uh, but I, I seen I seen the Phil Colfer one. That's the one I can think about the at the top of my head. I seen a couple of videos, but I seen the Phil Colfer one, and that's the one that really like he talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. He he made me comfortable to open up a little bit by myself, right? He did, cause I, I wouldn't. I was gonna I was gonna take it to the grave, boy. Nobody had to know nothing that I went through. I don't. I ain't tell nobody this whole time. I could have took it straight to the grave, but that ain't gonna help nobody. My experience would have been for a waste. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 it would have been even worse. Now I feel like I went through that for something so I can teach you and help you. Listen, man, no matter what age you at, stop now. Stop now. I'm telling you, like, no cringe, corny stuff. I'm telling you, listen, it works. Like, you stop now, you're going to get to where you want to be in life. Anything you want will come to you when you stop that. I'm telling you. You want girls? You you you, you jacking off because you you scared of girls? When you stop, you won't be no more. You won't be wanting no more. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, you don't get something. It might not be what you want, but you're gonna get something way better than that. The real deal, the thing. You got way more confidence to yourself, way more passion, way more drive. You maybe you even start a family now. Just stop, man. All right. I hope I said enough. Um, I hope I ain't leave no details out. Now, I, I could have went more into depth of like the girls and whatnot and how I did it or navigated it, but I just I think I got the main point across. Like, you know what I'm saying? The main point across. That was really it. Really it. Like I said, I'm still dealing with it to this day. But I'm I'm only doing it in like month spurts and for one day. When I when I relapse, I just do it like twice, three times. And then I and one in the same day. And then I just go for another four month streak or three month streak. But I need to get to the point where I'm just all the way stopping. Cause like I remember what I said. Every time I do it, I'm relapsing. And I'm setting myself back months of progress that I've worked hard for. So basically, I'm just in a cycle right now. Basically, what I'm saying, right? I'm in a cycle right now. I'm working hard for months, four months. I got all this progress for four months. I jack, set myself back, take away all the progress. What am I doing? That's stupid. Because it's, because a little feeling, a little lust, and I can't even, I can't control myself. We're just, I'm an idiot. Don't be, don't be like me. I'm, I'm an idiot. Do not be like me. Full on idiot, man. And I'm in. And I heard somebody say, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to do it by myself and I'm not putting God into it, try to help him, let him help me. I think that's right, you know? And and I and I, I feel like, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I, I want I allow I will allow the God to help me. I really will. And I want and I I've been praying to him and I and I let him help me for sure. But I'm pretty sure he gave me the tools already to, to break it. It's just me. I feel like that's what's he he's with me, but I'm still messing up. Like, you know. But I promise after this video, I won't do it anymore. And I'm going to give y'all an update as well. But things will get better. Things are going to change for the better after this video. And I'm hoping not only for myself, but for you as well. Girls, females, dudes. Y'all know I'm talking to y'all. Y'all know I'm talking to y'all. But I want you females to know the same way as y'all. You know I'm saying same way with y'all. I know y'all go through it too. I know y'all been exposed to it too. But listen, we can get through it, man. Once we get through it, we're going to operate at such a higher frequency, such a higher level. We, we're all, listen, you stop jacking off and masturbating, you're already in, in the top 1%. <laughs> I promise you, the world don't talk about it, but it's a huge epidemic problem. You're already in the 1%. If you stop that, you're going to be, you're going to go miles ahead of somebody else that does it. Like you want a little power, that's going to be a big boost right there. Stop, man. I'm, I'm stopping. You should stop as well. Let's get it done, man. 
ain't nothing to we gonna get it done. We don't gotta, you know what I'm saying? We gonna be, we gonna, we gonna be on top. We, we one thing we gonna do, we gonna be, we gonna be them for sure, man. NBA.